Oh, look, we got a free bundle in the store. Okay, then. Man, why do these things always have to be so shit? Alright, what's going on guys? It's Flame. Welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. We're hopping back into it today. So, we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about in today's video. A bunch of uh, stuff released um, regarding the new Season 3 coming to Black Ops Cold War and also Warzone. Uh, in the next couple of days, actually, there's new weapons, new maps, new game modes... The new changes coming to Warzone, the Warzone event, bunch of cool stuff, um, and we've got all the details regarding that, the roadmap. Obviously, I'll put some stuff up on screen later in the video to uh, kind of show what I'm talking about. But yeah, real quick, I'd just like to say I appreciate all the support on the videos recently. It does mean a lot to me. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 300 subs. Any support you could give would be greatly appreciated. Drop a like if you enjoy the video. Hit the post notification bell so you never miss an upload. We're going hard on the content coming very soon with a bunch of new stuff in uh, Call of Duty to cover, so you definitely don't want to miss it. And without further ado, let's hop into some uh, Nuketown. Alright, so we're here on some Nuketown. I'm going to snipe. Uh, I've been playing an ungodly amount of zombies, so my shot's going to be terrible, so just bear with the gameplay in the background, but we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. So, um, the roadmap actually dropped for Season 3 just the other day. Um, basically, we are getting an update for Cold War um, on tonight at midnight eastern but the uh season three you know content the battle pass etc is releasing 24 hours later so tonight uh april 20th at 12 o'clock eastern we are getting an update it's gonna give you know some of the update we're gonna get the new score streak which is i believe it's called the strafe run um we are gonna be getting the new lobby background kind of similar to how we we got one in season two uh which was that jungle looking thing so we're gonna get a new lobby background who knows what it's gonna look like hype for that there's also gonna be some uh changes to zombies xp you know some of the minor stuff uh in preparation for the release of season three so that's awesome um yeah, and then 24 hours after that, so the 21st, or technically you could say the 22nd, at 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Eastern Midnight, um, the Season 3 content will release, so we're going to get the Battle Pass, all the new maps, the new game modes and stuff. Um, so yeah, we got the roadmap, so we know all the content coming in Season 3. I'll put the roadmap up on the screen right now, so you can take a good look at it. Basically, we are getting... Um, it looks like two new multiplayer maps on release. We are getting Yamanatau. I probably butchered that, so, you know, don't hurt me. But that's a winter-looking kind of uh, map. It's 6v6. And then we are also getting a new map called Diesel, which is like a desert gas station-looking thing. That's for uh, 2v2 gunfight and 6v6. So, I mean, if it's for 2v2 gunfight, it's most likely going to be a very small map, very fast-paced, the kind we like. So that's exciting for sure. Um, as for new multiplayer modes, we are getting Sticks and Stones upon release, um, which was one of my favorite game modes actually back in Black Ops 4. Choke. Holy shit. So yeah, we're getting sticks and stones. Basically, it's like crossbows, uh, ballistic knife, and tomahawks only to sum it up pretty well. It's super fun. I'm definitely going to play a lot of it. Uh, it's like one of those party mosh pit type games. Um, so not like a main main game mode, but just something fun to play like gun game or, you know, any of that stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, we're getting that new score streak, the strafe run. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be something like a precision airstrike from Modern Warfare in comparison. I, I think that would make sense. Um, but we'll have to see. I mean, I, I don't really know. Uh, Zombies is gonna be getting a new outbreak zone um, in the form of Duga, which is like a satellite array looking thing. So that's gonna be awesome. Zombies is also getting a new field upgrade, which is going to be um, Toxic Growth. That's what it's called. 
I'm waiting for you. Okay. You know what? The shot isn't that bad, though, honestly. Um, then we're going to be getting new vehicles in Outbreak. Yeah, no one really cares about that. I haven't played Outbreak before. I'm sure it's good, but, like, new vehicles, whatever, honestly. I just got destroyed. And then, finally getting to the new weapons in the Battle Pass. So, on release, um, the two guns in the Battle Pass are going to be... The earlier tier one is going to be the PPSH SMG, which has been in CODs before. It is kind of a fan favorite, so that's cool that that's returning. And then we're getting another new sniper rifle in the form of the Swiss K31, and that is the higher tier one, so tier 31 most likely. Um, and it is described, I'll put an image up on screen uh, from the blog. It is described as a fast um, firing and fast ADSing sniper rifle. So not similar to the ZRG at all. In fact, pretty much the opposite. It's probably going to be a very speedy, um, but kind of very hit markery type uh, sniper rifle. Which, hey, I'm not complaining at all. We're getting two sniper rifles in a row. We will graciously take that. Uh, so yeah, there's those. We're also getting the, um, ballistic knife, finally. I think that's been leaked for a while, actually. So we're getting the ballistic knife. Now, that's not in the battle pass or anything, so we're probably gonna have to do a challenge to unlock it of some kind. Um, and it does say in season, but I believe it's actually coming out on, uh, launch week. So within the first week that the season drops, we will be getting access to the ballistic knife. So that's cool. Um, and then, obviously, I actually forgot to mention this, but there is going to be the Warzone event happening that, um, you know, is a big thing for a lot of people, as in because a lot of people play Warzone as their main game. So, yep, there's going to be a uh, Warzone event, which will actually lead into a Warzone map update. So, my shot is... Uh, Got to figure it out. But yeah, there's that Warzone stuff, and then moving on to uh, in-season content. This is hard. It's actually, like, really hard to play the game and, uh, like, look at my side screen at the roadmap specifically, because I don't have all this memorized, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening in this season. But when we're talking about the in-season content, in terms of multiplayer maps, we are getting Standoff. It is making its return. A lot of people are hyped about this. Um, you know, I've never played it, obviously. But I have heard that it is a really, really good map. And since the COD community is excited about it, I'm very excited about it. That's just how it is. So yeah, that's going to be um, really cool. And then we have Duga, which is basically the same thing as the new outbreak um zone but it's just gonna make its way into multiplayer as a multi-team you know map so that's cool whatever um just more content can't complain and then um in terms of weapons in season we're gonna get the carve 2 which i believe is a uh tactical rifle and then the AMP-63, which looks like a pistol, and it might be a full-auto pistol. To me, it kind of looks like a full-auto pistol. So that's cool. And then also the baseball bat melee weapon. And then other than that, obviously, we've got the four new prestige levels, new operators in the battle pass, and uh, all those goodies. So that basically sums up what we're going to be getting in the... Uh, season three update um super duper hyped i feel like the first two seasons season one and two were kind of dry in terms of content felt like we didn't get enough maps enough um you know just it didn't feel like we got enough content but we have a lot more to look forward to in uh season three here so super duper excited um only less than two days to go really so going to be making a lot of content on that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Other than that, I've, I've just been playing a lot of zombies. 
um, working towards Dark Aether. Obviously, that's going to have to get put on hold temporarily because i um, going to want to use the new sniper. 100%. Definitely going to do the camo challenges on it and all that. I'm getting wrecked in this game. I do not care, honestly. I'm just talking about this new season and super duper hyped about it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that's basically what's going on. Let me know in the comment section down below. What are your opinions on the content we are getting? What are you most excited for? For me, obviously, it's going to be the new sniper, as I snipe a lot in COD. Um, I don't know how that misses. But um, I'm really also excited for the new 6v6 maps and the fact that we're actually getting some. Uh, because we barely got any of those before. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to talk about now, so stuff so yeah that's gonna do it for this video super excited for the new season and specifically the new sniper hopefully 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 it's good uh, but a new sniper is a new sniper so you know we'll take it for sure but yeah hope you all enjoyed have a great day and until the next upload peace